Salut and welcome to Romania, guys. Today we're gonna film a food tour in Brasov, in which we're gonna check out the four best food spots that this city has to offer. We will start off with a nice breakfast, after that visit one of the best Italian cuisines that this country has to offer and of course also try some of the traditional Romanian food. And in the end we will top it off with visiting the best restaurant of the city trying their desserts. So don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy watching it and also subscribe to our channel to not miss out on further content. Let's go! So right now we're outside one of our first restaurants which is called Opus 9. It's one of the best places to get breakfast so I'm excited what's in store for our bellies. Let's go. Hey guys, we found some very nice things to order. I got croquemadam, which is like toast bread. They said regional bread, so it's some ham in it, some cheese and egg over it. The salad, it just looks amazing. And I can't wait to try it. Take some cherry tomatoes as well, some parmesan, some nice salad lettuce. Let's give it a try. They said it's some local bread and you can definitely tell. And it gives it a special kind of character. The cheese is basically what makes this. Maybe now you can see, have a look from this side. It's so soft and it's all soaked with the, with the, the oil that is actually from the cheese, I would say. That's what I can read out of this. You have here the, the different layers of the, of the ham. Now let's put the egg on there. Guys, just amazing. What do you need more for a good breakfast? Mm. What I ordered is some eggs and um, some normal avocado and salmon. Very uh, traditional. I like something that's going to be very simple. Yeah, that's very good. Let's crack them open. Oh, look at that gooiness. Let's try some of this egg. You can see that the yolk is just running off. Perfectly well done. Salted to perfection as well. But this is just so good. This is really good. It's just a perfect breakfast, honestly. You can tell why this restaurant has such good reviews. The breakfast was uh, amazing. The service is super, super, super nice. Everyone speaks English, so no problem for the tourists coming here. Opus 9 is your place for good breakfast in Brasov. So we are in front of the next restaurant. It was long time place number one, now place number two, Italian cuisine. The name is Cucinino. Let's go. We are preparing now the fresh pastas in the parmigiano wheel and it's amazing from the taste and how it's done. Now the, the parmigiano is melting inside the pasta. It's amazing from the taste. Yeah. This is actually amazing. This whole place is like a whole experience with a show kitchen. I mean look, you can just watch the food being cooked right here. You have like different kind of antipasti just been shown here. You have all the different kind of wine salts also here in the freezer. If you have a special occasion or you want to be with your, with your girl somewhere, this is the place to go. It's a proper experience to come here. 
There's also great history behind the restaurant. I mean, it started off as a show kitchen and then it expanded and it expanded. And I mean, the reviews are, they speak for themselves. I'm excited to try this. Such a unique way of making cheesy pasta. I've never seen it before. This is the first time and I feel honored. I'm gonna get some red wine to pair with this. It's gonna taste awesome, I'm sure. Diallo Mare is famous about red wines because it is on the same latitude like Bordeaux. It's a cuvee from Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Shiraz and the Romanian grape Fetesca Nagra, the Black Maid. This is fantastic. This is really, really good. It's so soft and it's so fresh as well because it's been turned inside. So, so fresh. Let's see. I never tried it out of this uh, Parmigiano wheel. I always wanted to, so I'm very excited. This is amazing. Also, I think it's, the pasta is just on point, perfect. Action. They had to be al dente, they had to be perfect cooked. And that's yeah. why the, the fully automatical pasta cooker. Yeah. And here we have the second kitchen. Wow. Here Claudio, Chef Claudio is, is doing the fish, the meat, the salads, the desserts. Wow. They are doing the done here. And here we have the, the open Wow, it smells amazing. Wow. Yeah. proper pizza smell, the, the dough, you can smell it. As soon as you hit the basement, it's just boom, come into your face, it's warm here. It, it gives this kind of rustic feel, perfect for the pizza making right here. Um, and you also, it's kind of like a showroom as well. You can sit down here, you can watch the person making some pizza too. Oh, it's fantastic. It's, it's a little bit of a change from the other part of the restaurant. We're gonna try this pizza now. It's actually the signature pizza, let's say. It was in the oven with the cheese. Mm -hmm. Then we have some mozzarella. On top we have uh, stracciatella, which is actually the inside of burrata, the best part of burrata. Mm -hmm. And uh, on top we also have some pistachio. So let's give it a try. I'm super excited. I have to take another bite. Mortadella is very thin. We saw it was cut manually with a with a machine. It's amazing. The pistachio gives the final touch. And in the middle, still cold, we have the nice stracciatella. Completely different to any pizza I've ever eaten. Don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe if you want to see more of those food tours. Comment below which city we should do next. Have a look at that. Flower-like, very much so. The slices are perfect. They're not too thick, not too thin either. That is really good. You guys are doing a great job here. A fantastic job here. Come and visit, it's in the description. Hiya, come. We are in front of the next food spot, the Naturistica in Poyana Brasov. It's up in the mountains, it's comfortable, it is traditionally Romanian and we are gonna see what we can try here. Let's go! literally two huge houses on a mountain everything here as we said is super super rustic the feel that you get here really 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 is like you are in an old romanian kind of home 
Also, one thing that you can realize pretty quickly is that all the waiters and the waitresses over here are dressed in traditional attire. You can really get a good view of how Romania would be in general in the old centuries. If you ask yourself, what is this black guy and this German doing in Romania? We couldn't get a place in our home countries to study medicine or dentistry because our grades were too bad. That's why we went to Romania, into this awesome country. And if you want to study medicine or dentistry as well, just hit us up on our website ro-maniac.com because we help people to get their place to study medicine or dentistry and on that link you can book your free consultation call. We already tried all the stuff like Sarmale, all of that um, Mama Liga in Cluj. Check out that video if you want to see that. And today we go for more for the meat like meat. We go for um, pork, neck, steak and also some chicken. The Romanians also, they love their pork, but of course also prepare chicken uh, on the grill especially. Uh, especially. We're gonna give this meat a try. At the moment we have meat over here. Um, everybody Romanian knows what meat is. If you're not Romanian and you don't know what meat is, I guess it's just ground up pork and it's, uh, it's a little sausage without the kind of casing that you would find in other places. Just traditionally tried and mustard. It's glazed over there, looks fantastic. Let's give this a go. Fantastic. So we're also gonna dip it in the in the mustard. That's how it's usually eaten. Mmm, it's so juicy. I think it's one of my favorite pork dishes. I don't eat pork so much. You don't have this intense pork kind of taste. The chicken, let's give it a try. They love to make it like this. Romanians actually they love their barbecue and they do it throughout the whole year, winter as well. Yeah, mm. it's good, but I prefer the pork eating in a Romanian restaurant because they, that is really where they are the experts. So let's give this pork neck a try as well. Yeah, it's so rustic. You have this rustic aroma. Mm. It was done on the barbecue. Awesome. It's done fantastically well. Usually I don't like it when they overcook my pork. This is really good, nice and pink, fantastic. Let's give this a go. I'm gonna be honest, these big cuts of pork aren't really my thing, but this is nice, this is tender. It's not too chewy, it has a good flavor to it as well, very rustic flavor. Not too many spices as well. It's awesome. The food was actually pretty nice, a lot of meat but the Romanian food is meat-based. You have to understand that a lot of pork, it was great, especially the ambiente. It's a whole experience and we can definitely recommend coming here when you are in the near, when you are in Brasov or uh, just in Bucharest. It's not a long way out here. You will have a great experience if you are with your family or just with friends. Right now we're outside the next destination which is Ograna and it is actually rated as number one on TripAdvisor so we're really excited to try some of the desserts that they have in here so let's go. It's nice, it's small as well, it's very cozy, just away from the street. So I'm, I'm super duper excited. We come to the last restaurant of this food hall Brasov version and we actually try Papanash. How should it be different Romanian speciality dessert? And we have to try it here in the number one restaurant in Brasov. It's an honor to be here, to be allowed to film, thanks to everyone and I'm just gonna give this a try. It looks completely different to the papanash I had before. So let us actually... Wow, the outside is crunchy. Oh, look at this. It's very fluffy, you know. What is this again, like? It's Montana or yogurt with the jam you can see. And see the sugar, how oh, it's like crystallized a bit. It's good to try. Yo! Best papanash I ever tried. 
for sure. You can feel like the dough, soft, warm and very juicy inside. Then the sugar, powder sugar over it. And then again, the, this yogurt cream is not heavy. So it's not actually that massive that you think like, oh my goodness, how should I finish this? Amazing. The jam also seems like homemade, not too sweet, not too much sugar. The inside is like almost liquid. It's flowing out of it. Wow. You have to get some. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome way to the service here is also amazing, guys. Like you have seen, you should come around once you are in town. When you are in Romania, Brasov is a must, Transylvania. And you know now the places to go. What is the name of this dish? Alivanka. Alivanka, Alivanka is a dessert from uh, Romania, mm -hmm. from area Moldavia, from Suceava, more example. Okay. And it's an old, old dessert they make with the corn and the sweet cheese okay now in these times you know you try to show a little bit like a fine dining you know mm. but the taste is the same this is very old i think more than 100 years i'll give this a go and i'll yes. see being from the uk i'll see whether this has any similarities to cheesecake uh, at all okay. okay oh it's very nice oh this is fantastic yeah. it's not too sweet yeah. The inside is very soft yeah. and you get a little bit of crisp at the bottom Yeah. with some of these berries as well. Yeah, this yeah. is from our woods from here near to, to the brush shop. So it's all like very close yes. by? We use in this restaurant only the local uh, products. We start off with those food tours going to cities with the absolute banger. I think that brush is the food city in Romania. As you can see, we really enjoyed our time today. It was fantastic. Thanks to all the owners who received us and comment where we should go next. What city should we visit? What restaurant should we try? If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you next time. Lade vedere and ciao.